I've been waiting for you. Welcome, my old comrades. And my lady, Rosfida. Sorry, we're not the allies you once knew. Yes, how foolish of me. From the looks of it, Dr. Noah managed to save Adol and the Crimson King. Yeah. Hmm, you look alright to me. Besides, I was sure that if anybody could make it through that procedure alive, it'd be you. How can he be so cruel? He doesn't feel bad at all. What have you been doing here for the last 15 years after you disappeared? You owe me an explanation, Zola. Saint Rosvita. Ever since I succeeded in creating you, I thought to myself, why stop there? <laughs> Shadowlard attempted to restore Glia with a homunculus army of only the elite. But he lacked ambition. Why settle for only the experiences of the living? But you, Rosvita, are my crowning achievement. A living testament to the prospects of alchemy. Imagine what we could do with all the great heroes and minds of the past. That was my vision. To amalgamate all of their combined wisdom with alchemy. That's impossible! Papa! You can't! How did you get all the information about these people that you needed? Repeating what you did with Rosvita and Anamona would have taken too much time. That is correct. I had the same concern. That is, until I found you, Adolf Kristen. You not only harbor an abundance of insight from your adventures, but you've also encountered a great many exceptional beings. Among them are beings some would consider to be gods. No. What have you done? Through my research, I was able to extract those memories from Adol. My magnum opus is far greater than what Shadowlard could have ever dreamed. With the combined memories of the people Shadowlard and I collected in the prison, and the extraordinary wisdom etched into Adol's soul, I fused all of them into one single being. A being like the gods themselves. No, a being that is superior to the gods. Aprilis. With this god in the Grimwald Nox, all of you can be freed from this curse! He's lost it. <laughs> to think that someone could come up with something so egregious. And tonight, with the Grimwald Nox at its peak, my magnum opus will finally be complete! That vessel... It's filling up with blue spirits. Wait! Zola! Done it. Its power is astonishing. It's beautiful. O oh, Atra, thou born from night, I beseech thee, become the guardian of the Grimwald Nox in the God's stead. Hmm. Perish.
happening out there? It appears that all of the monsters outside the fortress were annihilated. What? In an instant? There's no doubt about it. He wields the power of the gods. Yeah. Yes. I'm pleased that it meets your expectations at all. Now, none of you have any need to fight in the Grimwald Nox ever again. You can live unshackled from the curse that has plagued you all your life. Allow me to congratulate you. I am truly happy for all of you. You deserve this. Papa... Really? But... Can we really trust something this powerful? There's no way it's that simple. Would you prefer fighting tirelessly like you have for the past 500 years for the rest of eternity? Well, no, but... That is, unless you find joy in being a slave to the Grimwald Nox. Regardless, I have no further need for monstrums. I invited you here as a debt to my old friends. But it's best if you leave now. I acknowledge that your work has allowed us to survive for so long. However, I want to find a solution that we can all believe in. And I'm willing to wait, if that's what it takes. Aprilis! You never change, do you? Why do you insist on suffering with them? Many people once trusted you, and many exploited you as well. This weakness was to blame for your demise, or has it been so long that you've forgotten? <laughs> no matter how many times I offered you my hand, you refused to take it. No, Zola, I... I don't want to hear it. I'm tired, Rosvita. I don't want to see you get hurt anymore. I didn't spend all those years reviving you just so I could lose you again! Atra. Restrain her. You can't! Bastard. There is no need. What? Homunculi are no longer necessary as the keepers of the Grimwald Nox. Consequently, I will dispose of them, including their leader, Rosvita. No! My purpose is but one. The complete and utter eradication of the source of enmity in the Grimwald Nox. The source of enmity? You can't mean... The Animus within Balduk is a pestilence that threatens to consume the rest of the world. To ensure its preservation, the pestilence must be cleansed. In other words... You're going to destroy Balduk? It will be the catalyst of its own salvation. <laughs> All the wisdom in the world smashed together and nobody thought this would be the verdict? With the shit I've seen, I almost don't blame him. But this isn't right! Zola! You leave me with no other choice. I will see Satra's functions. <laughs> Zola! Papa! I must eliminate all hindrances to my objective. Sola! You are next. <laughs> Adol? Adol Kristen. You have not been selected to be eliminated. But if you obstruct me, I will destroy you as well. Stand with me and protect Balduke! Yeah! Let's go. 
Understood. All right. It's come to this, huh? Of being more powerful than the gods? I like the sound of that. There's no way we're gonna let you destroy Baldu. Our fates aren't the gods, and certainly not yours to decide. You have all outlived your necessity. Now you disappear. Start doing a damn thing. Are you satisfied, Homunculi? Soon you may finally be at peace. You have done well for the past 500 years. Take caution. Yeah. Is this the end? <gasps> What's happening now? You. You did this. I did. I am your creator. It is truly regrettable that you were a failure. It seems I need to conduct some more tests. Sola. I destabilized the force keeping him together. But he's still more powerful than I anticipated. Be careful. I am. No, it is I. I am. Who am I? Who are you? Who? Not yet. I still must. And bring all the souls 
that compose Atra. This must be the result of the amalgamation breaking down. He's only barely able to keep the souls intact. He may be vulnerable in this state. Monsters, prepare for the final assault! Okay! okay. to finish this the souls failed to separate it's out of control use caution it's too late to back out now we can't afford to let this chance go to waste Great! We'll never kill this thing just by throwing ourselves at it! It must have a weakness somewhere! If it does, my gift will be able to see it. 
That was the core of souls that Atra was comprised of. Once it lost the power keeping it fused, it shattered, and the souls began dissipating. So is it over? Yes. Atra is no longer a threat. That said, it means that nothing will change. We must continue fighting the Grimwald Nox as we always have. But Balduk is safe now, at least. And it'll stay that way, as long as we keep fighting. I'll do my best to make sure everyone can keep living in peace. The important thing is that we'll do it together. I will do my part as well. I'm never getting rid of you guys, am I? Hmm.
at all. What do you wish to do? We are souls forged from your memories. Do you wish to free the Monstrums? With all of us here, at this moment, we can stop the Grimwald Nox together. But without it, the enmity of the people cannot be contained. Because of this, the future of Balduk is uncertain. It may even come to pass that its people will suffer a far worse fate. But maybe, that's how things should be. What does your heart tell you, Adol? You, of all people, should know. Choice is not always between right or wrong. The only absolute is that the choice must be made. We'll help you make it come true, Adol. All you need to do is choose. shouldn't be trapped by the past any longer. This is the Egg of Drachmir. It is the relic that manifests Lemiris from enmity. Please raise your sword, Adol. Destroy the egg. By doing so, the Grimwald Nox will cease to exist. Its light is a beacon of hope. <laughs> You've always been able to find it, haven't you? so much, Ada. I'm so happy I had a chance to see you again. <laughs> no matter how perilous the path before you, you walk it undeterred. <laughs> that courage lies in all humans. After all, you freed me from my eternal fate. Yes, think of this as our gift to you, for all that you have done for us. <laughs> we'll always be watching over you, Adam. Always. You're finally awake. <laughs> What's with you in fainting? What happened? It seems we're just outside of Balduk, though we don't know how. Is it true you destroyed the Grimwald Nox? A strange voice told us you did. I no longer feel the presence of the Grimwald Nox, nor any Lemiris. I want to believe that it's finally over. Yeah. There's nothing to apologize for. I don't know what I would have chosen if I were you. I think... I might have chosen to keep the Grimwald Nox. Me too. 
I don't mind having to fight, if it's to protect the ones I love. However, then there would be no room to change for the better. Not for us, and not for Balduke. Yeah... You might be right. <laughs>